Hello everybody and welcome back to the Outer Worlds. So this may be the last part. I just got a little, or got told by Ada that uh, if we go now, we not we might not be able to come back at least for a while. So let's go. Got my trusty tossball stick. Got my ass kicking boots. I'm ready, boss. If I can't bring all three of you, Felix, you're obviously you staying back. Us, We're crew, for real crew. That means we got each other's backs, right? Waiting on your command, Captain. I just said, let's go. Ow. Okay, let's go. You are about to solve the labyrinth on Tardis and determine the fate of the Halcyon colony. If there's anything you want to do before you enter the prison, do it now. Before you cross the point of no return? Uh, yes. The point of the series is the campaign. Side can go fuck itself. Wait, did it save it as I'm I was... I'm to inform you that we have what? arrived at the labyrinth. Please be advised that the punishment for trespassing is execution. Oh, thanks, Ada. Please be advised that electrical storms on the surface of Tartarus make departure impossible at this time. Why am I failing that quest? What was that? Uh, know anything useful? Resident count is as follows. 3,071. Resident deaths, including but not limited to executions, are as follows. 1,684. It's a lot. Resident escapes are as follows. Zero. That's not a lot. The interior can be chilly. Take a scarf with you, Captain. I don't think I, I have a scarf. I ask that you leave your Captain's ID with me in the event that you do not return. You promise not to leave without me? I can make the assurance that I will not leave with another Captain unless you do not return within 876,541,652 hours. Oh, speak of the How many devil. days is that? Captain, I am receiving a transmission from the prison's docking authority now. Put them on. Attention, unauthorized spacecraft. This is a maximum security installation. Your presence here is an explicit violation of UDL corporate policy. Well, what are you going to do you about it? You are hereby it? confined to your docking platform until a ticket detailing your crimes has been filed and notarized, at which point your vessel will be seized and you will be executed. Oh. Wait, this isn't Terra 2? My mistake. I'll, uh, I'll just leave. Well, of all the places to get arrested. UDL does appreciate the courtesy you've done us by delivering yourself here. You're welcome. As a show of our deepest gratitude, we will make your execution quite swift. Ooh, I could lie. Fine, execute the chairman's eyebrow stylus over a lost biometric ID. That'll end well. Wait, you're the stylus? Uh, thank the law you're here. Everyone knows how particular the chairman is about his eyebrows. Here, take my biometric ID instead. Thank you. Tartarus Docking Authority, signing off. Transmission that was easy. Biometric ID I guess received. I'm a hairstylist now. Transferring data to external you can tell my back soul's hair. How can I be of assistance? I guess I'm gonna go. Eh, fuck the colony. Okay, Ada. May luck be with you. Of course. As I am sure you are aware, luck does not exist. But it seems to comfort humans to believe they possess good quantities of it. Okay, Ada. I'll miss you. How much ammo do I have? Not a lot of energy. Still got that. I think that's heavy. And light. Okay. Uh, yep. Felix. Sorry, pal. So I wonder if I didn't lie. Would I have to, like, fight my way through this? Oh. Restricted. I'm the hairstylist, people. Alright, do I have the ID? I do. Alright, might as well try and hurry up. Where's the... Shit, I thought that would be the end of restricted area. I'm just gonna get over here. Can I shut this? Okay. I don't want that guy over there looking at me. Where'd he go? He left. I'm not too keen on walking into a prison. They locked me up. I'm liable to kill everyone trying to get back out. All right. This might be the loneliest place in the whole system. I mean, there's three of us here. 
There's gotta be somewhere less lonely than that. Right? We're going on the ground. Okay, let's go. We have a lot of shooting to do, Captain. Not if we can get over there with the holographic thing. You possibly can. What would be easier? Or what's the easier path here? Probably this way? Let's go for it. Run, people. I don't know if running drains them more than you would just walk or if it's like the equal amount. Okay, hey, uh, it's gonna run out, so I might as well waste it now. Hi, sir. Are you new here? Or madam? I didn't think we were hiring more staff. Yeah, what's it to you? Well, nothing. I was just asking. I was gonna welcome you aboard. Well, he made your point. Okay. All right. Does it not freak any anybody out? We just transform in front of them. That's what it does, right? It just stops working. God, I wish I found these IDs a lot sooner. I them in, actually, I don't... Other than that one place on, like, Brazanthium, I don't think I found any restricted area. Also, I guess since this is close to the end, I might as well buy some ammo. That's gonna cost 500. Sure. Ooh, a 17 helmet. Heavy armor. Sure. Are these all the same? Not more energy. Oh, that's even a better helmet. God damn it. Wait, what's the best helmet I have? It's one I had on me? Really? Alright. Just borrow all this for nothing. Okay, that's the best armor. What's the best helmet? This is 29 plus 5 melee, which will be helpful for that scythe. This is the same, but range weapon spread minus 10%. What looks better? I look like a turtle or something with that on. Let's go with it. Last thing. Uh, can I modify... Can you modify the helmet? Why not? When your health drops too low, this mod makes you temporarily invulnerable and increases your regenerative short regeneration for a short time. I'll put that on. This is why you save everything towards the end, so you can just put it on here. Ranged or tech? Let's go with ranged. Backpack, geographic scanner, and nightingale step. Let's go with backpack. So range can go up or spread down a little bit. Eh, let's go with the spread. Okay, we're good. Let's go kick some ass. I really hope this is the last part, <laughs> or close to it, because I just, like, wasted everything. Also, now, what are the odds? I'm gonna find even better stuff along the way. How do I get over there? Do I gotta go around? That looks locked. Ah, shit. Oh, I'm not gonna make it. This guy's gonna spot me. Hey, what's up? What? Error. Employee information not found. Identify yourself. My name is Baxel, you piece of shit. This statement is false. Error. Paradox protection protocols have prevented me from registering your stated identification. Please report to your nearest mechanical engineer. Will do. Everything I say is false. Error. Paradox prevention has temporarily disabled this unit's auditory processing. Thank you for your cooperation. You want to trick somebody? You just always say false in front of them. Excuse me. Okay, up we go. How'd you guys sneak around? Okay, we should make it over there. God, imagine having to fight your way through this. Thank God I had this holographic deck. Or a shroud thing. What's that? Hello. Uh, boo. 
Hold it. Something about you doesn't look right. You know, or you got a problem with the way I look? I know, I haven't been feeling well. Yeah? You're not contagious, are you? I might sneeze. <laughs> hey, keep your distance. I don't want to get sick. Okay, I'll keep going along my way. And as long as this is unrestricted, we should be good. Shit. Okay. Okay. Okay, this is gonna be close. Oh boy, oh boy. Okay, there's no enemies in there, I don't think. Ooh. That could have been bad. Oh, wait, that's Rockwell. Well, look who it is. Should have just taken another step forward. I'll be damned. I was prepping the studio for our announcement, and here you are as a bonus. I had heard you'd taken a mechanic under your wing. What's the matter, girl? Couldn't find actual employment? I pay her, I think. Right. Better than any of you bored folk ever have. I'm exactly where I want to be. Ah, uh, I knew I smelled monarch when you lot walked in. The stench of sulfur, depression, and desperate bravado is unmistakable. Keep talking, and you'll be smelling iron. Ain't nobody so important I won't put a bullet in them. When you go off and get yourself shot, try to avoid taking one to the face. I'll want it recognizable to show to my citizens. Are you putting me on TV? Haven't you heard? Phineas is working for us now. I doubt it. It took some doing, but employing an efficient management strategy of putting our guns to his head seems to have done the trick. Uh, please, Phineas would rather die than co cooperate. Yes, he is an extraordinarily obstinate fellow, isn't he? Fine, he isn't working for us per se. Semantics, he'll come around. But that's between us. As far as my adoring citizens will know, we've turned a dangerous crackpot into a working class man. It's a miracle. If anything, he does meth. The crackpot is saving the frozen colonists you gave up on. Oh yes, go on, wake them up, add more mouths to feed. That'll solve our starvation problems. We need to fertilize more. That simpleton in a lab coat has been leading you through, but it's done. It's over. Let me ask you something, Captain. Have you at any point thought about not fucking up our entire society? No. We're helping, which is more than you can say. I'm making actual progress towards stabilization and recovery. You're just getting in the way. You know, I wouldn't have to. You'd be more cooperative about all this. Oh, right. This coming from the psychopathic outlaw. I yes, ain't no psycho I'll yet. I'll try to be more open-minded about your path of wanton descent. We don't need your help. But you want my help. Damn it, I'm not high enough. Yes, you do. You clearly do. We'll have to agree to disagree on that one, Captain. Let's say agree. Now, if you don't mind, I have to finish prepping this script. Okay, you have fun with that. I'm just gonna keep going this way. Surprised you ain't shooting me on sight. Oh, that was unrestricted. Alright, just hop over here. Could I have killed Rockwell there? Like, he seems like an asshole. It's gonna run out. Oh, a nice purple scepter. We're scythe. Oh, okay, just in time. How come you're still in uniform? Take a breath now, folks. Once we're up there, I suspect we ain't gonna have time to stop shooting. I mean, we haven't shot a single bullet yet. What is this? Captain, you have an uncanny hey, talent for complicating my life. You're welcome. You've disrupted the balance of power. You've upset the natural order of things. You've introduced uncertainty, and there is nothing I despise more than uncertainty. 
we're liberating Halcyon, and there's not a damn thing you can do to stop us. Do you imagine you're leading some grand revolutionary army? Yeah. You're nothing but a rabble rouser. I'm I don't going know what to that is. End to your little rebellion, and then I'm going to have you and your associates arrested. You haven't been. You haven't. Been, you haven't been able to arrest us yet. Good on you for saying optimistic in your final moments. I have no intention of dying on Tartarus, Captain. Not when there's so much work left to do. I admit I miscalculated the extent of your influence. The board's plan never accounted for you. This is a mistake I intend to correct. I have Dr. Wells in my custody. Once I've secured his cooperation, I can move forward with the program. I can repair the damage you've done. I can set things right. Let's talk about this. No, let's not. No, I want to kill her. Don't test me, Sophia. It's bad for your health. I'm aware of your propensity for violence. Halcyon is a bloodier place because of you. It's my talent. I take no pleasure in this, you know. I simply have no other option. Leaving you alive is too great a risk. Goodbye, Captain. Bye-bye. I'll be coming for you soon. Do your worst. If you insist. This prison is equipped with an auto-mechanical warden. I've had it programmed to eliminate you on sight and rinse your remains down a drain. And don't worry. I will inform Dr. Wells that you died heroically or something. He's right there. Didn't he hear you? So that warden. Is it just one guy? Or like one big robot? Oh. Doesn't seem that big. Alright, good at saving. Ram. Go, girls. For a second, I completely forgot what gun I had. Alright, I'm invincible for a little bit. Oh! Didn't know I could do that. This isn't going to be one fun fight. Also, I'm guessing I should probably put this on. Let's replace it with that. Just see how this does. Bring it. Well. Ow. Go for the sneak attack. Oh god, he's got little robots too. Oh. No, I don't have much of those either. Mm. Alright. Wasn't expecting uh, little guys to come out. God, even these things are tough. Oh boy. Do I have anything in my inventory that would help? Any of this stuff? How do I use this stuff? Ooh. Alright, that will be my, my backup. Up, oh, Neil goes down. You stay good, Pravati. I'm gonna take these guys out. Okay. Hi, Ram. This is... Some more coming? Oh, God. What are all those red dots? Oh, you could just press F on it and use it. Can I even use this? I can't even put it back in my inventory. 
Oh, I probably have too much. Okay, armor rating. And base health. This gun sucks against you. Oh boy. Oh, there we go. I knew we had a hot damage there or something like that. I don't know why that's doing 200 damage, but I'll take it. Can I go like higher up? I got a bad feeling there's going to be a lot more drones behind these. Oh, that was close. Can you please like fly into those shocking things? Oh! Alright, it's probably healed. You give me 200 sometimes, other times you just give me 10. Did he even go anywhere? Damn it! I should probably use the Q item when I'm doing that, actually. Good thing I have a lot of health items. Hope I got enough ammo for this guy. He's at like half. I mean, now, even if I do fail right, right now, I sort of know what to do. So I gotta keep her body and the court alive. I just gotta get, kill those little drones fast. And then keep this guy busy. Alright, I'm calling it now. He's at half. Shit. Oh boy. Oh boy. This invulnerable thing better work. They're tracking me down. Did I not? Okay, just use a health. Maybe the energy work should work on them. Yep, works pretty well. Okay. How many is left? Or like the small ones? Is it just those four in there? Hopefully it's the little ones. He doesn't know where I am. What an idiot. Here we go. What? Oh, you guys are alive. Oh, she's down again. What? How? You saw how much health he had. How much damage did I just do there? Did I do like 20,000 damage? You piece of shit. Give me that key. Uh, yep, there's just more drones in here. What the hell just happened? Yep, and then would have been four more. Thank God whatever happened happened. I don't know if that was a glitch or I have like some perk that like does something. Praise the Lord. Right, let me just quick save. Sorry, I don't have to do that again. I killed your thing. I'm coming in. Wells, where you at? Oh, what a nice place. Should probably get this out. Just in case. That was easy. You weak bitch. What's up, Wells? Oh, you're behind glass. You don't know how glad I am to see you. You did the right thing. Akande was a monster. Her death was much deserved. Holy shit, 96,000 XP? You. And you, you lunatic, 
You broke into the board's own fortress just to rescue one doddering old man. You are absolutely out of your mind. And I can't begin to thank you enough. You're welcome. Do you have any idea how much trouble I went through to save you? What? Break into the most heavily guarded facility in the most hostile world in Halcyon? No. I have absolutely no idea how you did it. You're a goddamn miracle worker. Just pray you it all in the board to luck, colony, which Ada didn't say exists, life. and that holographic shroud. So much we have yet to accomplish. You and I are going to have to work harder than ever to save Halcyon. I'm afraid the situation is far worse than any of us ever anticipated. Thanos, he's coming. Great, and I was just about to pop open some drinks and celebrate. I would like nothing more than to celebrate this victory, but we have a serious problem on our hands. Earth has gone dark. We haven't received a single message in three years. There's been no communication, no signals, nothing. Two years ago, the Earth's Directorate's frigate disappeared on their way back to Earth. We don't know what they discovered when they arrived, or if they arrived at all. So we've got to make do on our own. Seems to me that'll make us stronger in the end anyhow. You're quite right. We've got no choice but to make do on our own. You mean... we're all alone out here? Really alone? I'm afraid so, Miss Holcomb. Halcyon is the only home we have left. Returning to Earth is no longer an option. We're in serious trouble, my friend. Do you know what this means for Halcyon? We can't rely on Earth for support anymore. We've been cut loose. We're entirely on our own. So are we like our own little galaxy? Or are we like supposed to be part of like the Milky Way? But like new planets and stuff. Do I need to ask you something? Yes, yes, certainly. I'll help however I can. Oh man, that's a lot of stuff. You know what? For the lore... Let's go through it. I don't know what happened, but something must have gone horribly wrong. I don't know why Earth's gone silent. Is that thunder in the game? Earth exists anymore. We have no connection back to Earth, and return is likely impossible. We're completely alone out here. I mean, I guess we are humans, so yeah, Earth does exist. I heard it from Akande herself. She tried to pressure me into joining her side, you see. Tried to make me realize that all hope is lost, and that we are alone. She was half right. We are alone, and we're going to have to fend for ourselves, because there's no telling what's happened to Earth. A frigate disappearing? You might have heard of the Earth Directorate's frigate. Half the colony's entire military was on that ship. They were returning to Earth when they vanished without a trace. That was two years Maybe they ago. just stayed on Earth we and kept quiet. We haven't a word from them since. Whatever happened to Earth likely happened to them. Any new messages from Earth? Yes. Or no messages? mentioned as much. Earth hasn't sent us a single message in three years. No one knows why. Akande had kept the truth to herself, perhaps with good reason. Can you imagine what would have happened if word got out? We'd have utter pandemonium. There's something else I know about the other colonist, Phineas. I wasn't trying to hide the truth from you, but after all you've done, I owe you an explanation. Yes, I experimented on the Hope's colonists. Each of my experiments ended in catastrophic failure. Each of my subjects died in agony. You are my first and only success. I didn't tell you about the others because... I didn't want to burden you. My failures are my own to bear, not yours. So was this before, like, you got attacked on that ship rescuing me? Or was it like, I was your, you stole everybody, but I was your first success? I, I don't know. Better late than never, I guess. I'm not asking you to forgive me. Law knows I won't forgive myself, but I'm going to try to set things right. My apologies. I need to get a hold of myself. We've far more pressing issues to worry about right now. If you have any more questions, ask me. 
I'll answer as best I can. Is there any more? Nope. Yes, we do. You've done a marvelous thing. You've succeeded where anyone else would have failed, including me. We must begin the revival process immediately, starting with the hopes of brightest minds. And then we're going to fix this damn colony one problem at a time. We're going to need a leader, and I can't imagine a better person for the job than you. What do you say, old friend? Will you help us? Can I say no? I'm going to do what I've always done, whatever I want, all the time. I'll help you revive the other colonists. Somebody has to run this colony. I'm the only competent person left. You can count on me. I can't tell you how glad I am to hear that. When I revived you, I thought we were going to save this colony all by ourselves. But I was wrong. We can't save Halcyon on our own. We're all going to have to pull together somehow. We are not a colony anymore. Our last connection to Earth has been severed. I don't know if we'll survive, but we're going to have to try our best. Okay. The OSI teaches that everything in the universe happens according to the grand plan. But the stranger that arrived in Halcyon was an unplanned variable. From the moment he landed in Emerald Vale, his actions altered the course of history. The events on Tartarus brought about the end of the board's authority. But the board's mistakes would haunt the colony for decades to come. The damage they left behind would require the work of a generation to repair. Dr. Phineas Wells began reviving a handful of the Hope's colonists. Engineers, scientists, technicians, and intellectuals. They were among the brightest minds the Earth had ever sent out into the stars. The Hope scientists and engineers woke up in a colony descending headlong into total collapse. With no way to return to Earth, they had no choice but to band together and devote themselves to the cause of saving Halcyon. The people of Halcyon were nothing if not hardy. In the absence of the board's authority, Many of the colony's settlements banded together with a single purpose in mind, survival. Life was especially hard in the years to come. Some towns dissolved by attrition and starvation, but most of them found a way to carry on. In the years to come, Halcyon was forced to reckon with its newfound freedom. The board was gone, and for better or worse, the colony was responsible for its own destiny. Left unchecked, the war on Monarch consumed both MSI and the Iconoclasts. And when the Sulphur Cloud settled, only stragglers from both factions remained. Some found their way to Sublight, some to Terra too, and some lived their final years fighting for food in the wilderness. In the end, only the beasts remained. Adelaide McDevitt replaced Reed Thompson as the leader of Edgewater. She and her followers transformed Edgewater in their image. Anyone loyal to Reed was pressured into leaving town, and those who stayed behind adapted to her way of life. Adelaide transformed the old cannery into a new garden. The nearby Edgewater Cemetery provided a convenient source of fertilizer. June Lee Tennyson fought to protect the Groundbreakers' independence. While the board's influence faded, mechanical difficulties forced her to rely on parts that only corporations could provide. The cost was high, and time would tell if June Lee could balance the work with her aspirations for a better future. The rediscovery of the hope and the abandonment of the lifetime employment program forced Byzantium to come to terms with some uncomfortable realities about the state of Halcyon. While Byzantines were reluctant to surrender the luxuries they'd grown accustomed to, the board's diminished authority gave them little choice in the matter. Nearly everyone had to learn to make do with less. Some even had to get jobs. Oh no. It was a dark time indeed. <laughs> Life in Halcyon was sobering for Felix Melstone. The grand revolution he dreamed of never came. 
There was no great awakening for the colony, no celebrations in the streets. There was only the hard, desperate work of trying to repair a broken colony. Felix never had a head for numbers, but if there was labor to be done, he was there to help. Eventually, Felix realized that the work of a revolution was done with two hands. Though Parvati eventually grew comfortable aboard the Unreliable, she never quite came out of her shell. She seemed to prefer the company of Ada to the crew, and she could often be found neck deep in cables and grease, telling Ada funny stories from her childhood. While the colony fell into chaos, she found an island of relative peace with Ada, and they formed an unusual bond. She decided to remain aboard the Unreliable permanently as its chief and sole engineer. As hard as she tried to drink them away, Nyoka's memories eventually overcame her. Traveling with a crew served as a constant reminder of the family she'd lost, and so she eventually returned to Monarch to get back to what she found most comfortable, the deep end of a bottle and the far end of a trail. Few have seen her since, but travelers often swear they hear her and her machine gun in the night, screaming swears and spitting bullets. Before his untimely death, Captain Alex Hawthorne had plans to restore and modify, for combat purposes, a sanitation and maintenance auto-mechanical that he'd found in a state of disrepair in Emerald Vale's scrapyard. That unit remains broken down and forgotten in the unreliable supply closet to this day. Minister Clark was released from house arrest, and his contact with you gave him a sense of renewed purpose and vigor. Once it became clear that no help would be coming from Earth, he threw his considerable efforts and talents into helping Halcyon manage the crisis before it. As for Dr. Phineas Wells, he spent his remaining years in his orbital lab. Though he was always haunted by the failures of his past, he was determined to make things right by building toward the future. Dr. Wells was able to revive many more scientists and engineers than he first expected, thanks to the additional batch of chemicals you stole from the Ministry. Wells never forgot about the human lives that were lost in acquiring these chemicals. The revival project was hard and painful work, but in the end, despite limited resources, over half the Hope's colonists were successfully revived. Even after Wells passed away, the Hope scientists and engineers worked night and day to pull Halcyon from the brink of collapse. Their efforts continue to this day, which may be reason enough for optimism. Dr. Wells laid the groundwork for the project to save the colony, but he would never live to see the fruits of his labor. He passed away a few years later. His work was carried on by the scientists and engineers he revived. Life will never be the same in Halcyon. It is widely agreed that the colony has a chance of stabilizing within a generation, owing to the hard work and determination of the surviving colonists. Recovery is a distant goal, and the path is long and uncertain. But the people of Halcyon carry on, determined as ever. And what about you, the unplanned variable in the history of Halcyon? Long after Wells passed away, you carried on his work with more energy, determination, and brilliance than he could ever muster. The years that followed were hard, but Halcyon survived by the efforts of the Hope's most promising colonists, the greatest of which was you. No one knows what's happened to Earth, and no one knows what the future has in store for Halcyon. All we know for certain is this. The name of the unreliable and that of its intrepid captain will remain the subject of countless stories for years to come. Okay. I like how they actually gave, like, a here's what happens from the choices you made or what you did and didn't do. So, obviously, I bet if I did, like, companion missions, like, did all their story arcs, their lives wouldn't would be like different Parvati probably would have like been more open and like stuff like not just close to Ada 
Decoya probably like would have stayed with us longer. Yeah, and Felix, who cares about him? Sam could have revived him, never did. I probably could have done all of that stuff, it's just how much time would have taken, how many like videos that would have gone up, it probably would have been like in the 50s, honestly. But I had fun with this game. You know, I didn't do everything, obviously. I want to go back and try and do everything, see like what the really, really good ending is. Because I'd say like with the Phineas part, that was the good ending, reviving colonists. And obviously he dies a few years later, but they continue on his uh, goal, trying to fix Halcyon. Also, I probably couldn't understand. I could probably understand what like the entire lore is if I actually read any of the stuff I found. Here's why I pieced together. There was a bunch of colonies that went from Earth to space, I guess, to explore or just create a whole new colony. I don't know if they got kicked out or if they was like for science or whatever. Eventually, the board was created, or maybe they were there first, who knows. And they were bringing Halcyon down a very dark road. They wanted to freeze everybody to save resources. And I can see how that would work. But like, no one would want to live like that. And obviously that didn't work too well for the Hope ship because people were frozen there for a long time. And no one brought them back until Phineas found them. And then I jumped in and we saved over half of them. I think that's what it said. But uh, yeah, I'd rate this game... 8 out of 10 uh, scythes. The, or the yellow ones. Also, I'd say but best part about this game free on Game Pass. I, I don't think this was an Xbox or I don't know if like this if they're going to make like more games that will be Xbox exclusives. But it's kind of weird. I wonder, like, what forced them to put this on Game Pass. I wonder if that was, like, a lot more money or what. Anyway, now I get to play on Xbox. But yeah, I like the characters, like the story. Game was beautiful. I'm trying to think, what else was in the ending that could have... That could have changed? Clark? I don't know if you could have changed anything with his story. Unless, like, you, probably if you didn't, uh... Like, send out a letter, he probably would have been under house arrest for who knows how long. Rockwell, he's still around. Probably could have killed him at some point. I don't know if they have any DLC planned for this, but if they do... Probably in between then and now, I'll play this on the Xbox and like... Do the way I want to do, like actually explore, put many, many, many more hours into it. So if a DLC ever come, does come out, I'll probably do it on that with like a new character and new stats and new stuff, new everything. I will find that scythe again though and I'll keep that. <laughs> with the Groundbreaker, if I helped uh, June Lai fix it, stuff probably would have changed. It said you had to like get parts from like industries that probably wasn't, probably didn't like have enough had to get cheap parts, stuff like that. I probably could have helped her fix the groundbreaker up pretty good. Uh, yeah, let's just uh, finish out these credits. I always stay till the end. You should respect the developers and do that. Even though you don't, I don't read it. <laughs> Most of it. Because I just ramble on. Zeng Ki. Shang Ki? There you go. Matu. I read two names. I do wonder what the other path would have been if you sided with the board. Like, would they have... What would have happened? Would you have gone after Phineas and, like, try and stop him and then freeze even more people? That would seem like the bad ending, right? Or, like, what you wouldn't want to do happen? Looks like it's about wrapping up. Is it going to show anything else or is it just going to go back to the main menu? Yep, back to the main menu. Okay, well, that's going to do it for The Outer Worlds. Unless I do DLC, which I might play again. And I... I don't know if there's talks for a sequel yet. Pretty early if they are. But uh, if they do, I'd like to play the sequel. You know, maybe again. So anyway, thank you all for watching. 
be sure to over down below, leave a like, subscribe, share, and I will see you in whatever series you watch next. Goodbye.